What originally inspired the movie Psycho and the book it was based on? Precious. Uh, me when I use an Excel spreadsheet. <laughs> I think that's everybody when they yeah. use an Excel spreadsheet. Every Jewish son ever. Uh, they're just trying to get that little bit of skin back from their mother. That's all it is. <laughs> Uh, the movie Psycho is a representative analogy of the horrific working conditions for actors in Hollywood at the time, and it's even more ironic because uh, Alfred Hitchcock was uh, one of the most heinous perpetrators of this, and he would be very abusive towards it. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. <laughs> I just like learning. <laughs> There's no learning on this show. No hugging, no learning. Uh, no jokes, also, apparently. Uh, <laughs> Dan. Sean's ex. Oh. Uh, <laughs> so she's old, too. <laughs> I don't have one. I just want to say that circumcision joke you made, Dan, was a cut above. That's the wrong direction, isn't it? Like, should be a cut below. <laughs> well, it's definitely below the belt. Oh. <laughs> of which you have a clear view. <laughs> Enjoy. Yeah. If we didn't know before, we know now. It's a good thing this is, uh, this is an audio show. <laughs> How come mine doesn't look like that? Uh, I'm sure it would if you tried to stuff it in those leopard print panties. <laughs> have, you tried making a... A, have you tried making a loving covenant with our Lord? <laughs> <laughs> it grows back, actually, once you accept the light of Christ. <laughs> I think your moil might have had Parkinson's, Dan. <laughs> 20 points for using Moyle in a sentence. Yeah. You know, there's historically been a problem with Moyle's transmitting herpes. Uh, yeah. yeah. Because, you know, they suck the blood off yeah. at the end, which is somehow not weird. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, with or without yeah. fangs. Uh, <laughs> How'd the baby get herpes? Just a straw. Yeah. How'd the baby get herpes? How'd the baby get herpes? Yeah. And give it to the poor rabbi? These slutty babies. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Uh, so the correct answer is actually a real serial killer named Ed Gein from uh, Wisconsin, uh, who actually, fun fact, uh, Ted Bundy's defense team tried to use the Ed Gein case as a reason to get him committed to an asylum instead of going to jail. But he refused, so he ended up going to jail. How noble. <laughs> Suddenly anyway. we love learning. Yeah. <laughs> I said fun fact. That was the difference. Yeah.